Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault once again. Today I am at Vroom Motor Gear Accessory Store and my good friend Shamal owns this store. As you all know, I also bought my new riding gear from the same store. You can watch my jacket and gloves review by following the link appearing on the screen right now. Also, if you're watching this video and haven't subscribed to the channel already, my humble request is to hit the subscribe button right now because it really helps as I am a full-time YouTuber. Now today I am reviewing the Spartan Pro Gear Kranos helmet. This is one of the best value for money helmets you can buy currently in our Indian market. Now I have already done many helmet reviews before which include the likes of LS2, THH, Fast Track, Studs etc. So please follow the link appearing on the screen to get to my helmet reviews playlist. Now many of you who have seen those videos have requested me to suggest a good helmet in the affordable range and I believe the Kranos helmet is undoubtedly one of the best affordable helmets available in our market currently. Now before we get to the review I would like to help you understand 8 points you need to note while buying a good helmet for yourself. So let's get started right away. Also please note that the point wise listing is to help you remember them easily and in my opinion all the points listed are equally important. Now point number one is that uh, first of all you need to like the design of the helmet. Now we all know a rider looks really cool and sexy when he is uh, wearing his full riding gear. As such the helmet design is crucial for you to be attracted towards it such that you're wearing it all the time which ultimately takes care of your safety so the design needs to be more appealing to you so that's first point in my opinion secondly the outer shell of the helmet needs to be made of solid lightweight material like polycarbonate such that it can sustain the impact of your crash while not wearing you down with its excess weight you might find helmets in the lesser price range but in my opinion cost or money shouldn't be a factor when life is at stake. We end up spending so much on junk food, mobiles etc but when it comes to helmets we kind of hesitate uh, thinking they are way too expensive. Uh, my humble request is to pay that excess amount and let it be a one time investment because it is ultimately for your safety and for you to enjoy a long and healthy life with your family. Now the third point is about the inner lining and the foam. The foam used should be of good quality, it should be hypoallergenic, it should be preferably laser cut to offer that superior fit and also fully removable such that you can wash them periodically and maintain the helmet well. Now point number 4 is having a D-ring strap. Now a D-ring strap is mandatory if you are going to ride on a track. The reason for that is the tightened fit it offers such that your helmet doesn't slip away when you crash. Now I have demonstrated how to fasten your helmet using a D-ring strap in one of my helmet reviews and you can watch that video by following the link appearing on the screen right now. And my suggestion is to always prefer a D-ring strap helmet over a buckle one because that really serves the purpose. Now fifth and most important point is something not many might be aware. It is actually the tight fit that a helmet offers. To check whether the helmet fits you well, you need to wear the helmet and try nodding your head. And if the helmet moves, that means the helmet is loose and the likelihood of it coming off in a crash is more. So don't think that a helmet is uncomfortable when it offers a tight fit. It does ease out with time. But at the same time, don't buy yourself a very tight helmet such that you cannot breathe properly inside. So the helmet you buy should offer a proper snug fit. So that's point number five for you. Now point number 6 is that the helmet should carry DOT and ECE certification which are basically the safety standards for US and Europe respectively. DOT stands for Department of Transport. The FMVSS certification that you see here stands for Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard and ECE stands for United Nations Economic Commission for Europe. Now getting these certifications means the helmet has been tested and that it meets the criteria to be used in the aforementioned regions. Now the seventh point is the ventilation system. The helmet should offer adequate ventilation ports all around for you to breathe easy and also ensure you don't feel suffocated inside. Now the eighth and the final point is that the visor should be scratch resistant as well as fog resistant. Since most of us go for early morning rides, uh, having a fog resistant visor really helps. Now coming to the Kranos helmet review, first of all it is super affordable. It only costs around Rs 3250 to around 3750 depending on where you choose to buy it from. Secondly, it is built really well with a hard and lightweight outer shell to offer great protection. Thirdly, the inner foam and padding is quite comfortable and also fully removable such that you can wash it periodically. Fourthly, it does get a D-ring strap which is really needed to make sure the helmet stays on even when you crash. 
Fifthly, the helmet comes with DOT as well as ECE certification which means it meets the world safety standards which is great. Sixthly, design wise it looks cool and sporty with sensible and stylish decal work. It is available in glossy finish as well as matte finish to suit your individual tastes. And the visor is scratch resistant as well as fog resistant which is amazing. Also weighing in at just 1350 to 1450 grams, it is one of the lightest helmets available at its price range. Now I can recommend this helmet a little more convincingly because a couple of my friends who ride RC390s use this helmet and they are quite satisfied with its overall stability, fit and build quality. Now for any further queries you can contact Shamal directly via their official Facebook page and I am leaving a link to that page in the description portion below. So that's pretty much it for now. I just hope you found this video useful. Until next time this is Dino saying ciao. Take care, God bless and ride safe.